Okay, here's an update on the uh, TD. Um, as you can see, I uh, cleaned up the exhaust manifold and the intake manifold and painted both of those. Um, the uh, color may not be exactly correct, but I'm understanding it's relatively close. Um, that red is uh, MG Maroon. Um, I'll be using that to paint the engine as well, at least the top half of it. Um, and before I do that, I'm going to be pulling the radiator um, and uh, putting uh, a replacement water pump and having a leak there and uh, probably makes sense to go ahead and replace that uh, and I'll get the uh, engine painted as I have that stuff out of the way. Um, there were two major holes in the battery box that weren't stock. They were just, uh, I'm not sure why the holes were there. And so I talked to my neighbor about this. He came by the other day and uh, welded that up for me. And then I, uh, it wasn't welded all the way, all the way around, um, just for concern about moisture getting back there. So um, I put uh, a, a um, liquid metal um, around the rest of it to seal it up. And I've got that primered. Um, so uh, I feel good about that. And that'll, of course, be covered up with the battery anyway. You shouldn't see that. Um, I am going to be painting the engine bay black. I've started just the edge here just to test it out. Um, and I believe I'll be able to come up with a finish that will be acceptable for the engine. Uh, obviously, not the exterior of the car like that. Um, and I've done the same uh, cleaning up. Uh, I've got it primed the battery box um, lid as well. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the frame. Um, I don't know if the video will pick this up very well, but the frame is right where the, um, the support for the radiator attaches to the frame. It's kind of, um, you can see it there, it's got some waves in it. And so I believe that's the reason that when I try to line up my um, crank shaft to, to hand crank the car, it doesn't line up. And so I believe it's because of that. And so I will be pulling the radiator as well. That's another reason to pull it. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to pull the steering, um, which may be challenging, um, so I can get access to that area on the frame and get it straightened up. Um, I'm gonna try to muscle it up through first before I do anything like um, cutting, um, but I think I can get that straightened up to where it's um, feasible. And uh, I'm really close on it being square in the front. It had been in an accident, I think, around 1969. And so um, I have the measurements for the center to center on these two uh, outlying pieces for the uh, frame. And it's really close. I'm off just a little bit, so I will get that squared up here um, when I do the, the framework uh, to flatten it out. You can kind of see the leak there. Um, and again, uh, another great reason to pull that radiator and get that um, sorted out so it's not leaking. Uh, let's see, what else have I been working on? Um, the carburetors are at uh, the shop, so they're getting the shaft openings reamed and uh, bushings put in there and the shaft for the butterfly set up. So um, those should be done in the next few days. And hopefully I'll be putting the um, carburetors back together shortly. And um, that's obviously one major piece to getting it fired up. Um, and I don't know if I've mentioned this before in my videos, I do have an extra engine and transmission and carburetor set up here. It's actually for an MGA. So um, I would love to get rid of that and have some extra space here. but. Um, if anybody's interested, please send me a note and I make you a screaming deal. Um, another thing I've done, I don't know if this will show up very well, my very uh, tight garage here. Um, that had been, that section of the cowling for the radiator had been um, bondoed. And so 
I'm gonna to have to have that re-chromed, the whole thing, that wouldn't have worked, so I cleaned it up, I heated it actually to get it to come off, and the dent isn't actually that severe, so I'm going to be um, sourcing some um, hammer and dollies and do some work on that. I've done some work like that before, so it won't be my first time, but I don't have any of that equipment right now. So I'll find some and uh, get that taken care of, and I've got, um, Thankful, thankful for one of the other MGTD owners he told me where he got his um, chrome work done. So I've got a place now that I will send my chrome stuff in to get it done. Um, and I'll be excited to have that going. Um, let's see, I also got some floorboards, um, which have just started to paint up um, to replace the old floor, floorboards that were... Uh, cracked and showing signs of needing replacement so I'm um, thankful that I got those got those on sale uh, through Moss and I think that's about it I'm gonna see if I can get this radiator pulled today but I wanted to give you guys a quick update since I hadn't said anything out in a while and uh, appreciate you uh, watching my videos <laughs>